Facts First presents… An enormous sinkhole opened up in Australia and sucked in an entire beach. Inskip Point in Australia looks like a small patch of paradise. Beautiful blue waters surround the peninsula. It's one of Queensland's most beautiful places. Everything in the area remained normal until one evening when everything changed. The incident took place September 24, 2018. According to reports, a huge void opened up along the shores of Inskip Point. It created a 25-foot wide hole, which makes people wonder what the future in that area holds. Many are concerned because this is not the only time something like this has happened. In 2015, a 650-foot wide hole opened up in the ground and took everything in its path, including a caravan, tents, and another vehicle. Fortunately, there were no people around when it happened. The spring after the September 24th incident, another chunk of Inskip Point was lost. Again, nobody was around at the time, so nobody was injured. However, since this is becoming now a regular occurrence, people are wondering when it's going to happen again. Not if, but when. The weakness in the land is leaving many people concerned about the future of Inskip Point. Ever since the 2018 incident, experts warn it will happen again. This has been causing great concern for the locals. The ocean entirely encircles Australia, and 85% of the residents live near the coast. There are over 31,000 miles of coastline in Australia, and the fact that it's at risk of disappearing is a pretty scary thought. Beaches are the heart of the Australian way of life, and they're all being sucked up never to be seen again. It could essentially destroy Australia's coastline, meaning a considerable portion of the economy as well. Home and Away is a very popular soap opera that's broadcast in more than 80 countries worldwide. The beach is also reflected in Australian songs and in many Australian TV series. It's not just tourists who love the Australian shores. Most people who live in Australia live there because of the gorgeous beaches. According to a recent survey, 10% of the population surfs. Every year, thousands of people visit Australia just to ride the famous waves. According to Vogue magazine, there are over 10,000 beaches to visit in Australia, and some are more popular than others. Bondi Beach in Sydney is a very popular destination for both the locals and tourists. Rainbow Beach is another very popular spot. There are only about 1,100 people living there, but thousands visit every year. That's why there are so many hotels and campgrounds around the beach. Experts believe that Inskip Point was the first in the area where the Europeans settled. By the beginning of the 20th century, a school was built for the workers' children to get an education. Inskip Point isn't all beach. Along the coast, there is also vibrant plant life, including trees and shrubs that birds have made their home. While some people are worried about going to Inskip Point, there are many who still consider it the perfect vacation destination. Since the June 2011 incident, tourism has dropped a bit, though. On a June day, a hole materialized in the ground, and it all started out pretty small, but it grew quickly. Soon that gap had swallowed up a vast amount of the beach, and the holes were 165 feet deep. There was nothing anyone could do but watch helplessly. Many locals believe that what's happening at Inskip Point is just the beginning. A Rainbow Beach worker named Greg Gehring saw the holes appear in 2011, and he says that the hole was the largest he had ever come across throughout his career. He says that there were trees collapsing into the hole, being swallowed up. He believes it's just the beginning, too, and over the next several years, Australia's coastline will be unrecognizable from what it is today. Four years after these holes first appeared, enough beach to cover a football field has been swallowed up, right beside a campsite. According to a tourist who was there, Casey Hughes, it started with the sound of thunder. When people realized what was happening, they did their best to get their campers out of the area. Fortunately, 140 people did manage to get away, but many did lose their camping gear and vehicles. What's happening in the area can be considered to be a landslip, and it's showing no signs of stopping. Only time will tell how much of Australia's coastline will disappear underneath the water. With this disruption in the coastline continuing to occur, Australia is worried about their tourism, and the locals are concerned about their way of life being disrupted. An enormous sinkhole opened up in Australia, and it sucked in an entire beach. No wonder people are panicking. Subscribe for more!